The following presentation by the Chestnut Hill Conservancy is part of our History at Home collection of activities from our archives. Community stories from our past in the comfort of your home. History at Home is made possible by our generous members and supporters, so thank you. This illustrated lecture entitled Wissahickon Structures was originally created as a captioned slideshow for the October 2019 Night of Lights exhibition along Germantown Avenue. Wissick and Structures was developed by Gwen Razek and produced by Leah Silverstein and Molly Murphy, with narration by George McNeely. This 1895 photograph shows the second Indian Rock Hotel on the Roxborough side of the Wissickon Creek at the foot of Monastery Avenue, built just outside the original park boundaries. It opened in 1870 and was a favorite stopping place for coaching and sleighing parties. The Valley Green Hotel was built around 1850. After renovations, it was renamed the Valley Green Inn seen here with warming sheds for horses around 1875. This circa 1875 photograph shows the buildings of Kitchens Mill, located at the base of Kitchens Lane in Mount Airy. The covered bridge has been replaced with a footbridge. The Cedar Dale Woolen Mill stood along Cresham Creek, west of Germantown Avenue, seen here in 1895. William McFadden's house, pictured here in 1889, stood along Thomas Mill Road on the Andorra side of Wissick and Creek. Traces of the house can be seen today along the Yellow Trail. This postcard of 1900 shows the Hill Mill and Mill Race with the McCallum Street Bridge in the background. An unknown man stands with his bicycle in front of the hill mill on Cresham Creek. It was later demolished. This circa 1900 photograph of Rittenhouse Town shows Robert McKinney's quarry in the foreground and the former Rittenhouse Street, now Lincoln Drive. The Bluebell Hill community is in the distance. As seen in this photograph from the 1860s, the Philadelphia Germantown and Norristown Railroad built this wood and iron railroad bridge spanning the Wissickon Creek at Ridge Avenue, just above the Schuylkill River. The route still exists today as Septa's Norristown Line. The Monashone Creek and Paper Mill Run, Pergola, and Bridge area was sometimes referred to as the Houston Ramble, running along Lincoln Drive, seen here around 1900. This structure is no longer extant. This view from the same time shows the surrounding walkways and gazebo of Devil's Pool along the Cresham Creek. No structures remain there today. Schumach Park, built by the Robeson family around 1752, was on Ridge Avenue to the south of the mouth of the Wissickon Creek, with the Narstown Railroad line visible in the upper right corner in a photograph taken in 1905. After serving as the Highbridge Hotel in the 19th century, it was torn down in the mid-20th century. Henry Howard Houston bought Buttercup Cottage, which stood adjacent to Cresham Valley Drive, as a summer escape for poor inner-city working women. It was used until the early 1910s. A rock wall stood where the trolley car diner building is today, on Germantown Avenue just below Cresham Valley Drive, with the St. Martin's Coal Company offices on the left, here in a photograph from around 1920. Stonehurst, built in 1887 for the family of Sally Houston Henry, bordered the present-day Valley Green Road and the Wissickon Valley. It was demolished in the 1930s, replaced by the Cherokee Village Apartments. In 
The ceramic piping of the Pipe Bridge carried water from Roxborough to Mount Airy and was located just south of Cresham Creek. The bridge was abandoned around 1901. Mr. Fee, a park guard, stands at the guardhouse at Kitchens Lane in Mount Airy, circa 1906. The Reading Railroad's Norristown Line and the Ridge Avenue Bridge are seen behind a smaller truss bridge that once connected the Canoe Club to Kelly Drive, then East River Drive, circa 1912. During the Depression, the Federal Works Progress Administration, WPA, employed workers, beginning in 1936, to construct buildings and walls in Fairmount Park, such as this guard box, probably below Rex Avenue. This WPA bicycle building with concession air stands today where Forbidden Drive meets Lincoln Drive, photographed in 1940. Joe Toner, back left, and Frank Grill, back right, are shown securing the WPA shelter along Forbidden Drive during the height of the September 1938 hurricane. A four-in-hand coach at Northwestern Stables, shown here in a Christmas card, was a common sight in 1948. This 1957 photograph shows the Cherokee Street Bridge before its replacement in the early 1960s. Generations of visitors to the Wissahickon Creek passed beneath this bridge on their way to the Valley Green Inn. This 1969 photograph shows the A&P at 40 West Evergreen Avenue, which was converted into office space around 1985. This site is now home to the Friends of the Wissahickon. Seen here around 1987, the Fingerspan Bridge, designed to look like a finger, was constructed by lifting each piece by helicopter into the Wissahickon. The private house at 800 Wises Mill Road, known as Divertimento, is surrounded by Fairmount Park land near the Wissahickon Creek in Roxborough, around 1999. 